got a beautiful card using gilding flakes today and I want to show you how you can make a pretty gilded frame with a nice edge to it. The dies we'll be using include uh, from the New Zealand collection the background. Now we're just going to be using one of the inner cutting rings on this one. From the New Zealand collection again we have the Auckland die. And I'm going to be using one of the inner cutting dies from the Wellington. And to create the frame, I have the Noble dies, the double pierced rectangles, both the original set and the B set. Okay. So I think I'll start with the Auckland. We're going to take the decorative cutting piece out and we're going to center it in a piece of black card. Now let me just get this centered and I'll give you a quick measurement on it. That and that. And I've got a piece that is five and three quarters by six and three quarters. It's just large enough to fit with our frame we'll be using later. Okay. Pop that into the platinum. This may need a turn. Let's take it a look. Yes, we're going to do a quick uh, quarter turn here. Oops. There we go. Get some of that detail. That should do the trick. Got a little bit of sticky on my die here, so it's wanting to stick to the base plate. Oop, there we go. <laughs> and we can use our tool in one. Take out some of the bits. Okay. Let me tidy up. And we've just got a few little pieces there that we want to pop out. So you can see you've got some beautiful detail on that die. So next thing you want to do is take a piece of self-adhesive sticky and that is right here and I'm going to put that on the back of the card. Peel that up. Just center that right over the back. Give it a, let's see, let's give it a good press down and then use the waxy side. You can just give it another press down. Make sure all the little pieces are adhered nicely. Okay, so I'm going to use some of the gilding flakes and these are Persian Dawn. They're usually quite full so let's carefully open that. And I'm going to just put a few around here. And there's all sorts of gold and silver and copper in here. It's really, really pretty colors. Pick some of these beautiful shades up. And let me just do tiny bit of um, moving it around with a rub it scrub it pad just to get it into this it, uh, the adhesive that's exposed from the back there. We'll see if we need to put a little more gilding flakes on. They surprisingly go further than you think they will. Yeah, yes. Get some moved over and get in all those little areas. So the um, adhesive or the um, uh, the textured part of the rub it scrub it will kind of refine these and take off any extra bits. So I'm going to just tap those off. Okay. Put the lid on here. And let's see if we can do a little bit of a cleanup here. Taking off some of that. Okay, not bad. There we go. Okay, so now I've got the background to my frame done. So I'm going to set this aside and I want to show you what we did with the frame. Um, and this is kind of a case of I've done this the wrong way, so now I want to show you the right way. When I originally did the card, I put my dies into place and I sponged the flake and glitter glue through the dies. Now this is um, it's a very sticky glue and I found when it hit the dies it was kind of difficult to get off. So I think this is the much easier way to do this. Cut your frame, take your flake and glitter glue, put a little bit on some wax paper and I'm only going to do a section of this because I have one already finished. Piece of uh, cut and dry foam 
and you just want to make that into what I call a palette so it's very thin and just sponge it onto your frame. And I would do the whole entire thing, but I'm just going to do a little bit of it here for us today so you can just see. But I would do the whole entire thing. Make sure that it's perfectly clear before you start to gild it. So in the meantime, what you probably want to do is take and put any extra back into your container. There we go. And that can sit there as long as you like because it will not dry until you actually put your gilding flakes onto that. There we go. You peel it up off the wax paper and put a bit of gilding flakes onto here. And you can just go back in with your rub it, scrub it, and move it onto the gilded part of your frame. Okay? And fill it all in until you've got all of that covered. And I'll just do a tiny bit more so you can see it. There we go. So after you've gone all the way around the frame, this is what you'll have, is a beautiful gilded frame. Okay? So let me set this aside. And we'll bring in the one we've already done. Now, that would be really pretty put over your background like that, but I wanted it to be just a little bit different. So what I've done is I've raised it with some mounting foam. Can peel the backing off. Center it over this um, Auckland die that we've cut and gilded already. And that looks fairly straight. And I've cut two other frames using both the A and the B set. So you have a really nice thin edge. I've added a little bit of mounting foam to these. So we're going to peel this off and we're going to add that to the frame to give a really pretty white edge on our card. Carefully pop that down. Let's see if we can get that centered. That looks pretty good like that. There we go. And do the outer piece. Oops. Just a tiny bit of mounting foam on here. My hands are a little sticky. There we go. And center this one over the top, catching the edge of that. Oops, don't move. There we go. Okay. Get a little bits left from the uh, mounting foam. So I've got a piece that I've gone ahead and done some piercing. We'll just add some glue to the back here. Pop that into place. Right in between our mounted, um, uh, our pierced background there. There we go. And I've got just a tiny little piece of gilding flake there. Okay. So the next thing I wanted to do was to gild a frame. So there's a couple ways you can do this. You can cut the frame or you can cover a piece of sticky, a uh, piece of white card with some sticky adhesive. But either way, I've got a gilded frame and I've used the uh, cutting edge from the um, New Zealand background and the cutting edge from the Auckland to create that really pretty frame. Okay. So pop that into place. Now I just need my sentiment. Um, oh, here it is. I'm going to pop that frame right over the top of that, center it, a little bit of uh, foam mounting tape on the back I've already put on. I'm going to trim around the extra card, keep my scissors at an angle. And last little bit there, there we go. Oops. Add a little bit of glue and center that right in the middle of our card. There we go. Quick and easy. Done. Isn't that pretty? You can add some pearls to some of the flowers on the background to bring it out, give a little accent, but I think that's an absolutely stunning card.